टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द केस ऑफ अल्ला नर्व पैलसी वेदर इट्स अ हाई और लो यू हैव टू डायग्नोज इट इन एग्जाम आई हैव सीन दैट बोथ काइंड ऑफ केसेस वर इन द एग्जामिनेशन समटाइम्स यू हैव हाई रेडियल नर्व पैलसी प्रेजेंटिंग विद अल्नर क्लॉ हैंड एंड समटाइम्स देयर इज अ डिफॉर्मिटी एट द एल्बो एंड समटाइम्स यू हैव अल्नर नर्व इन्वॉल्वमेंट विद सम Uh, pathology in the Guyon's canal. So I will touch uh, both of these topics. How we can appreciate whether it's a high ulnar nerve palsy, whether it's a low ulnar nerve palsy. As you all know that there are forty minutes on the Zoom, so I have um, made some changes. Uh, I feel that uh, Viva session is not giving enough uh, knowledge to all the candidates. So I have uh, shifted it that we will discuss examination one day. and we will discuss viva questions as well as their answers on the other day so today we will only discuss about the uh, examination and tomorrow inshallah we will discuss about the uh, all the cases uh, all the questions possible viva questions and their answers as well so let's start with the ulnar claw hand so ulnar claw hand if you see a patient in your exam most likely this will be a short case when you see finger in this position so you can jump to ulnar claw hand but remember one thing also i have seen few patients of dupuytren's contracture as well there is a contracture on the finger you don't see the typical two finger ulnar claw hand but you see a contracture on the fourth or the fifth finger so always 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 rule out to be trans contracture as well uh, th there will be a band like sensation but sometimes the band is not very typical slight erythema and there is a band like sensation so like we st start in the exam uh, you will start the same way introduction assalam alaikum my name is dr irfan i am here to examine you then the consent uh, uh, aapne puchna hai ki ji main aapka muayena kar sakta hu two questions when did it happened how it happened and the other question is what issue this is causing to you then we will jump to clinical examination and inshallah taala viva tomorrow so before going to clinical examination i want to discuss about the ulnar nerve ulnar nerve anatomy ulnar nerve supply must be recalled once because we know much about radial nerve we know much about posterior interosseous nerve but ulnar nerve is slightly different because you remember that it also supplies some muscle of thenar eminence and some of hypothenar eminence so i would say that first before doing the claw hand examination go through ulnar nerve supply i have not added this in my book but i uh, i am thinking about adding uh, uh, only the suppliers of the nerves in the book in the next edition to so see ulnar nerve if you see from the forearm it supplies flexor carpi ulnaris and fdp of ring and uh, uh, small finger you all know how you check uh, flexor carpi ulnaris you ulnar deviate your wrist ulnar deviate your wrist and then ask to flex so this is the way to check flexor carpal nerus and when we check the fdp uh, which are the movements at the distal interphalangeal joint we stabilize the uh, proximal interphalangeal joints and then one by one check the fdp in fingers if you see it supply all the interosseous palmar interosseous dorsal interosseous which do adduction and abduction and then among the lumbricals it supplies the third and the fourth lumbrical now there is a very important point which is the basis of the fromant sign that it supplies abductor uh, uh, in thenar muscles it supplies adductor pollicis and deep head of flexor pollicis brevis but in both of these muscle adductor pollicis is very important you have to check it through the fromant sign we will discuss uh, in the next slide so hypothenar eminence abductor digita minima opponens digita minima flexor digita minima and sensory innervation you all know so we have to remember that the ulnar nerve supplies in the forearm two muscles in the thenar eminence two muscles one is very important adductor pollicis then in the fingers interosseous palmar and dorsal lumbrical lumbricals third and fourth and then hypothenar eminence it supplies all the muscles of the hypothenar and sensory innervation 
so ulnar nerve case which case of ulnar nerve can be exam it can be a case of cubital tunnel or ulnar tunnel syndrome so cubital tunnel uh, you all know there is uh, compression of the ulnar nerve behind the medial epicondyle and sometimes it is associated with cubitus valgus so uh, uh, old lateral condyle fracture and cubitus valgus case often comes with claw hand there is a cubitus valgus along with claw hand so then you will examine both elbow as well as hand so i will tell you the scheme how you will uh, at what time you will screen the hand and at what time you will screen the elbow because we have added in our palpation that we screen sensory and motor both so while we screen sensory and motor both we will be doing the special test of the nerve which we encounter which we feel that it's deficient so once you all know about the ulnar nerve anatomy then there is a very important picture if i would say this is <coughs> this picture this picture is important because one uh, i have told you you can have a case of cubitus valgus along with ulnar claw hand you can have a case without cubitus valgus but there are other pathologies that is associated with ulnar claw hand and there is a compression at the cubital tunnel so if there is uh, a uh, there is no uh, deformity at the elbow but there is ulnar claw hand then you will differentiate between high and lower ulnar nerve palsy so high ulnar nerve palsy is at the cubital tunnel level low ulnar nerve palsy is at the level of guyon's canal this picture that you can see is at the level of guyon's canal guyon's canal is further divided into zone 1 2 and 3 candidates rarely see cases of guyon canal involvement but i i am telling you that in during my preparation in my hospital where i am working i have seen patients of guyon canal ganglion or other pathologies and there were uh, visible clawing there were uh, a, there was a case which was of zone 3 there was a case which was of zone 1 how will you differentiate between these zone why these are zones are important because sometimes you can encounter that this is not cubital tunnel this is ulnar tunnel the pathology is in guyon canal and you see that sensation is intact but there are issues in motor and in some cases you see the sensation patient only complains that he has uh degree sensation but the motor is uh, uh, not affected so here is the answer there is a beautiful table in uh, ortho bullets i have taken this table from ortho bullet so as you can say if there is zone 1 so the symptoms would be mixed motor and sensory if there is zone 2 there will be only motor and in zone 3 sensory only so examiner likes to ask these uh, the co the underlying basis of this why motor more why mixed motor and sensory due to zone 1 you will tell the answer is this proximal to the bifurcation of the ulnar nerve so this slide is very important to memorize how zones are important and in the next see if there is cubital tunnel you will examine you may have the pathology in the elbow but if there is pathology in the guyon's canal then there is another thing you must remember that you have to rule out is ulnar artery thrombosis so allen's test would be very important you have to perform the allen's test in ulnar nerve cases allen's test is very important the next thing neurovascular exam we are doing i will brief you uh, in a, a minute that how we are going to examine it so allen's test that neurovascular examination neurovascular examination ulnar nerve has few special test as we have discussed in previous session about the radial nerve so ulnar nerve has few important test there is weak pinch as we all know the pinch is with four type of muscle there is not one muscle that is causing the pinch so pinch will be 70% strength of pinch lost in ulnar nerve palsy from and sign favorite sign of examiners so you must know how to do from and sign there are some issues and there are some tricks that i am going to tell you how to perform this test jane sign it's not always elicited and it's a bit difficult to appreciate even in clinical exam because you have to appreciate the metacarpophalangeal uh, hyperextension 
if you see Vardenberg sign, Vardenberg sign, I have seen patients in which Vardenberg sign was positive. So how we are going to examine all this? Let's examine now. So let me stop this here. Now we are going to examine. Okay. So there is a, uh, now we are going to examine from our book. If I can see just a minute. So, yes. So now let's start how we are going to examine. If you have the case of ulnar nerve in your exam, then you will examine. First of all, let's suppose this is a case of cubital tunnel syndrome and the patient is in cubitus valgus as well. So first of all, the same, a young boy standing comfortably, head neck in center, arms by the side of the trunk, bilateral shoulder symmetrical, forearm arm muscle bilaterally comparable, uh, forearm by uh, for, uh, arm forearm muscle bilaterally comparable there is increased carrying angle on the left side compared to the right side or you can say there is obvious cubitus valgus on the left side compared to the right side there is wasting of the hypothenar eminence on the left side there is cloying of fourth and fifth finger on cloying you will better command from the lateral side so from front inspection you will tell and there are no abnormal scar mark, visible pulsation. So it is very easy to. Ab aapne kya kya dekhna? Aapko pata hai, alna nerve ka case hai. So you are seeing the deformity, you are seeing the cloying, and you are commenting on the hypothenar eminence wasting. Thenar wasting less likely. I am going to tell you what uh, other wasting you will see. So then you will go at the side. At the side you will uh, comment about the cloying the finger cloying the at the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal then you will go posterior posteriorly it is very important to comment on the <coughs> olecranon fossa after commenting on the olecranon fossa fullness of the olecranon fossa or any kind of scar mark then you will comment about the metacarpal guttering so there is often in the first uh, space there is metacarpal guttering due to the uh, loss of adductor pollicis so uh, uh, oh, sorry due to the loss of your uh, pad and dab so you will comment about uh, on the metacarpal gut tree now see in the book inspection always ask for proper exposure that's it look from front side back patient arm hanging by side ask the patient to make both arm facing forward so we have done this in inspection i don't think that you will what are the possible findings scar mark Cloying, wasting of the wrist muscle, wasting of the hypothenar eminence, and you can add metacarpal guttering as well. So this section, possible finding is very important. Scar mark, cloying, cubitus valgus, or wasting at the wrist. Then come on to the palpation. And let's suppose it's not a case of uh, cub uh, 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 cubital tunnel syndrome. It's a case of ulnar tunnel syndrome at the Guyon canal. So we will say uh, a young boy standing comfortably, head neck center, shoulder bilaterally symmetrical, arm forearm muscle bilaterally comparable. There is wasting of the hypothenar eminence on the left side compared to the right side and obvious cloying of the fourth and fifth finger. Lateral aspect, pe, there is uh, uh, cloying at the, uh, there is flexion at the metacarpal, flexion attitude of metacarpal uh, phalangeal joint of fourth and fifth finger and interphalangeal joint. Posteriorly, you will com comment about the uh, metacarpal guttering. So that's all about the inspection and along with you have to say no abnormal scar mark visible pulsation now comes to the palpation you will check the temperature you will check about the tenderness now tenderness is the same olecranon medial epicondyle lateral epicondyle radial head palpation then ulnar nerve palpation radial head movement is very important to screen in palpation then continuity of the radius continuity of the ulna Guyon canal, it is very important to palpate Guyon's canal. You can comment there is no abnormal swelling or I can't appreciate any abnormal swelling or mass in the Guyon's canal and then you can move forward because there are possibilities if it is not cubital tunnel, it is in the Guyon's canal, then there can be a ganglion. Now you have done the palpation. After palpation, 
you will go for what uh, uh, what you will go for pulsation so in pulsation i have said that allen's test is very important because it dif uh, ulnar artery thrombosis is in the differential of ulnar claw hand often and sometimes i have asked you must look for dupuytren's contracture i have seen cases when the candidate is confused that this is claw hand but there is a contracture band or uh, 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 that is dupuytren's contracture and don't think that if you have not seen in your training the dupuytren's contracture it is uncommon there are cases of dupuytren's contracture and i have uh, myself seen during preparation so let's move forward now you have done temperature tenderness pulsation now the very important step in elbow in wrist examination and in peripheral nerve comes ttp mnsr neurovascular sensation and motor so sensation you check the autonomous zone radial median ulnar and quickly screen hitchhiker sign okay sign and then in uh, ulnar nerve you will see when you will ask to abduct or fully abduct the fingers and you will check the par and you will say the par is weak now there are two things whether if you have pointed out that ulnar nerve is involved you can go directly for testing the special test one thing and the second thing is if you have a lot of practice and you think that let me screen the movements first and i am going to and i have time still i have time i will do the special test of the nerve at the end you have both options i prefer the option that a special test must be examined in the end to follow the scheme inspection palpation movement and special test so here you will find <clears throat> autonomous zone radial median ulnar if it is a cubital tunnel there will be decreased sensation if it is not a cubital tunnel uh, the pathology is in the gyon canal and it is in the zone <clears throat> zone uh, not in the zone 1 or 2 or, then you will see that sensation is not involved you will see that uh, sensation is intact but motor uh, uh, component is involved then you will differentiate which zone now tunnel sign so very important tunnel sign jaise aapko pata chala you have realized that the sensation is decreasing foreign you will do the tunnel sign and you will see whether there is a current like sensation it's regenerating or not if there is a scar mark always go to check the uh, lymph nodes Uh, reflexes no need in short case then comes the <clears throat> movement you have to screen the elbow movement you have to screen the wrist movement quickly elbow flexion extension supination pronation most important never forget supination pronation favorite uh, of examiners and then dorsiflexion and uh, palmar flexion of the wrist it is also very important now ask to dorsiflex palmar flex as to flex fingers interphalangeal joint you will check individual fds and fdp in ulnar nerve median nerve you have to check now make a scheme you have screened the elbow now you have come at the wrist dorsiflexion indian worship sign palmar flexion now go to the thumb and then the fingers so you will screen the thumb you will check the thumb fpl check kiya then you will screen the fingers fds fdp checking is very important and it will save your time because fdp checking is also a part of special test and fdp of first second finger i will tell you is important because it is part of tendons to be transferred so you checked <coughs> interphalangeal joints there is another thing if you don't want to check the interphalangeal joint you want to keep it in special test you can keep it then ask then checking the fcu next step is so you were here at the wrist dorsiflexion palmar flexion you check the fds fdp fpl then you will ask him to clench the fist ulnar deviate and ask to flex and while doing this you will keep your finger at the fcu and you will check fcu is intact or not finger at the fcu ulnar deviate flex finger at the fcu fcu palpation is very important now comes the special test card test so how must you perform the card test if i say you must perform <coughs> you must perform like this you must say that uh, by holding in your fingers and uh, uh, giving it to the patient and asking hold it like this 
from one end you are holding and from the other end you are holding the patient to hold then it's easy to dictate the patient it saves your time hold it like this hold it like this hold it like this and likewise from one side you will say hold it like this so card test palmer and trochier testing tested by asking the patient to hold a card keep a card in your uh, box on the examination day <coughs> then from end sign and then wartenberg sign there is another sign first dorsal and trochia if you have time keep this uh, test also in your checklist place the hand flat on the table with the palm down ask the patient to actively abduct the index finger abduct the index finger against resistance and feel for the contraction of the muscle pasting of the muscle may be obvious in the first web space as we have discussed about the metacarpal guttering so <clears throat> from end sign you all know from end sign it's very easy and it's very typical here i placed and i am asking to hold and there will be flexion adductor has gone the patient will use fpl so this is the basis wartenberg sign it is very important and examiner will like if you say wartenberg sign and you elicit it and it is very easy you ask the patient uh, abduct your fingers or hold your uh, hand normally like this and there will be increased space at so the fingers will be like this see this is normal hand and this is the wartenberg sign so it is the abduction attitude of the little finger due to unopposed uh, uh, action of extensor digiti minima <coughs> that is applied by the radial nerve in paralysis of the palmar and trochia so this basis of wartenberg sign basis of fromman sign and basis of card sign they are very important so see this is the uh, technique to do card test this is very typical from end sign you see that he is using fpl he is using fpl so remember this thing and uh, <clears throat> this is again now uh, one important part that is i have added in this book and i have told you there is no body or i have not seen any book where this section was added at the end of examination radial nerve median nerve ulnar nerve or claw hand the examination mm -hmm. is com not complete you are still fail if you don't check these things because your viva is based on this thing tendons to be transferred must be checked i have made a formula for ulnar nerve that is beef b e w f not b w e f b e w f beef so you remember beef you check brachioradialis quickly then you check extensor carpi radialis and brevis so both are checked uh, simultaneously you checked it then you check flexor digitorum superficialis and fdp both fds fdp i have not uh, written fdp but also check fdp and then extensor indices proprius this is very important so make this formula beef b double e f sorry there are two e's and two f's b for brachioradialis e for ecrl ecrb <clears throat> next e for eip and then f for fdp and fds when you have checked this then the examination is complete <clears throat> not a single thing that the examiner can ask you that you have not checked this yes if this there is a case of cubitus valgus and cubital tunnel syndrome you can go for checking the elbow as well fir usme elbow ka examination aapko dalna padega then you will include in measurements your carrying angle your gelezi sign and uh, the other measurement uh, that we have added isosceles triangle so remember if the case is a combination of elbow and ulnar nerve then elbow scheme must be followed and addition of special test of ulnar nerve and tendon to be transferred okay so if it's a old case mostly <coughs> cubitus valgus jab aata hai tab tendons to be transferred jo hai wo skip kiya ja sakta hai us surat mein agar if the condition is not severe patient 
is young because in this you just need the transposition of the ulnar nerve okay so if the patient is young cubitus valgus then tendons to be transferred if you miss it will not uh, give a bad impact but if it is a old case if there are severe neuromuscular uh, sensory and motor changes then you have to check so now i am going to unmute and if there are any question we will do this regarding viva we will discuss viva tomorrow with questions and answers both so let me unmute and then we will discuss about the case so you can discuss uh, following cases cubitus valgus with uh cubitus valgus and cubital tunnel syndrome ulnar tunnel syndrome and claw hand we can discuss uh, something more about claw hand in next class so let unmute first of all muzaffar isme thoda sa trick ye hai that if there is a case of uh, elbow then you have to examine the both so muzaffar ji kya yes assalam alaikum जी जी वाले uh, सर इसमें थोड़ा सा आउटलेट सिंड्रोम को भी रूल आउट कर सकते हैं सर जैसे um, uh, दूसरी डीडीज को भी सामने रख के कौन सी सिंड्रोम को थोड़ा सा आउटलेट सिंड्रोम सर थोड़ा सा आउटलेट सिंड्रोम सो यस इफ एडसन टेस्ट अगर आप कह रहे हैं ऐड करने का तो पिछले केस में, uh, में भी कहा था कि आप एडसन टेस्ट लिख ही लें इस बुक में भी लिख लें आप एडसन टेस्ट डेफिनेटली अगर आपके पास टाइम हो तो आप ऐड कर सकते हैं लेकिन एडजेंट है जब क्लो हैंड एग्जैक्टली नजर आ रहा होगा ना तो फिर अगर एग्जामिनर भी कहता है ना तो थोड़ी ज्यादा करेगा अगर वो मांग रहा है लेकिन फिर भी हमें पता कुछ नहीं होता सो इट्स बेटर कि आप टाइम हो तो एडजेंट टेस्ट डाल दें ताकि आपका एक रिफ्लेक्स तो बन जाए थैंक यू सर ओके अच्छा जी जाहिर मैं अभी आपको अनम्यूट करता हूं जाहिर एक बार जी जाहिर भाई ये इरफान भाई ये बताइएगा आपने एक पिक्चर शेयर की है जोन वन टू थ्री वो उनकी वो क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है वो की ब्रांचेस के साथ वो मैंने जैसे आपको भी बताया ये मैं दोबारा शेयर करता हूँ कि ना उसकी ही तो सिग्निफिकेंस है ना गायस के नाल में बिकॉज आपको बाद अच्छा। बाद केस आता है गायस के नाल जो है ना आपकी गायस के नाल में आपके मैस पड़ा होता है कोई गेंगलियन पड़ा होता है और उस गैंगलियन की लोकेशन हमें बताएगी कि किस किस्म का मसला है ये वाली स्लाइड देखो जरा ये जो आपको नजर आ रही ना ये ये टेबल ये हाँ ये वाला टेबल तो देखो ना इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि आपके क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन में अगर आपको मोटर और सेंसरी दोनों मिल रहा है इट मीन जोन वन है अच्छा, ना एग्जामिनर कहता है अच्छा ये कैसे हो सकता है कि सिर्फ सेंसेशन इन्वॉल्व है वाई द मोटर पार्ट इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व Then we can uh, वो, वो फिर जोन थ्री हो जाएगा वी कैन से सर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इट इज इन द जोन थ्री सो इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज आई वंस प्रेजेंटेड अ केस दैट वॉज अ गैंगलियन इन द गायस केनाल एंड द सी पी एस पी एग्जामिनर आस मी दिस जोन क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल ठीक ठीक थैंक यू थैंक यू सो अब एक क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं मजर ठीक है अब ये मजर ई सी आर एल ई सी आर भी अलहदा तो मैं मैं नहीं चेक करने का कहता या रिकमेंड करता लेकिन अगर किसी को आइडिया है कैसे चेक करने का वो हम जानते हैं दैट इफ ई सी आर एल गॉन एंड ओनली ई सी आर बी इज प्रेजेंट देन ऑन एक्सटेंशन इट गोज इन टू रेडियल डेविएशन सो आई डोंट नो इधर चेकिंग भी उसकी जो है वो इस तरह होती है कि नहीं होती बट मेरा नहीं ख्याल आप अलहदा अलहदा चेक करें आप बस ई सी आर रिस्ट एक्सटेंशन चेक करें और आपके यहाँ ई सी आर एल ई सी आर भी बहुत सारे इंटेक्ट क्योंकि अगर कोई एक इंटेक्ट नहीं होगा ना तो वो रेडियली डेविएट कर जाएगा ये इनडायरेक्ट तरीका दोनों को चेक करने का सो इफ द ई सी आर एल ई सी आर भी बहुत इंटेक्ट देन द एक्सटेंशन विल बी नॉर्मल एंड इफ इट इज एक्सटेंडिंग विद रेडियल डेविएशन देन वी विल से दैट ई सी आर एल इज गॉन अच्छा नबील देर इज द सेम वे यू होल्ड द हैंड एंड यू चेक द रेडियल हेड whether it's in place during your palpation you have asked uh, uh, why to check radial head in ulnar valgus yaar uh, why to check aapne radial head check karna hi karna radial head ek aisi cheez hai jo elbow aur nerve ke examination mein you have to check it you have to see whether it's in place because the examiner can ask you have checked the radial uh, head is it in place 
क्योंकि हमें कोई पैथोलॉजी का पता नहीं होता मैं उस रेडियल हेड की पैथोलॉजी को लिंक नहीं कर रहा किसी चीज से बट स्टिल यू हैव टू चेक क्योंकि अगर रेडियल हेड नहीं चेक करते तो आपको कभी ये जरूरी तो नहीं कि आपको प्योरली अल्लर नर्व का केस है देर कैन बी अस ऑफ मिक्स नर्व अल्लर नर्व एंड एंटीरियर एंट्रोशियस सो रेडियल हेड इन प्लेस नहीं है उसने ऊपर जाके आपके एंटीरियर एंट्रोशियस को भी इन्वॉल्व किया हुआ है आपका एफ भी ठीक नहीं एग्जामिनर आपसे पूछेगा क्यों नहीं एफ ठीक तो अगर रेडियल हेड अपनी जगह पे नहीं हो सकता है उसने कोई पैथोलॉजी की हो ठीक है इसके अलावा कोई और क्वेश्चन कोई और क्वेश्चन कल इंशाल्लाह हम इसका वाइवर डिस्कस कर लेंगे अभी आप ना इसकी अल्ला नर्व की इनेडमी यू मस्ट स्टडी द अल्ला नर्व इनेडमी द मसल इट्स प्लाइंग एंड द बेसिस ऑफ द स्पेशल टेस्ट यू हैव टू नो द बेसिस ऑफ रोमेंट साइन यू हैव टू नो द बेसिस ऑफ कार्ड टेस्ट Wartenberg sign, because even during preparation of theory examination we don't focus on the basis. So Wartenberg sign, Froment sign, Card sign, and uh, uh, table test, all these nerves, uh, all these signs basis must be uh, studied. So usko memorize karein thoda sa. If claw hand suppleness of the joint dekhni hai, so uh, uh, he the Kamarik ball. Kamar Iqbal has pointed out very important thing. If the patient is young, then definitely we are. Uh, if we are planning for tendon transfer, then anywhere, upper limb, lower limb, you have to check the suppleness. While I am palpating, I have seen and uh, in claw hand, I will passively flex and extend, and I will check for suppleness as well. So the, uh, this was a very good question. In fact. this was a very good addition from kamar ikbal suppleness is important to check okay so there is another question radial head is also secondary stabilizer for valgus yes so uh, thank you aapne ek aur izafa kiya information mein definitely it is a secondary stabilizer aur uh, radial head to check karna hi karna usko aap aise jaise tunnels is very important likewise radial head is very important to check so any other question कल इंशाल्लाह वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वाइवा ऑल द क्वेश्चन और कोशिश करूंगा कि अब हम क्लॉ हैंड के ना दो स्पेशल टेस्ट होते हैं ठीक है वो मैं कल इंशाल्लाह दो तीन जो उसके स्पेशल टेस्ट हैं आई विल ट्राई टू ऐड द स्पेशल टेस्ट ऑफ क्लॉ हैंड टूमोरो अलोंग विद द वाइवा क्वेश्चन सो इफ देर इज नो क्वेश्चन आई वुड से यू मस्ट सेट स्टडी अल नर्व इन एटमी अल नर्व सप्लाई इन द फोरम इन द Uh, rest hypothenar thenar and for the fingers you must understand gyons canal anatomy zones theek hai tunnels usme karne ki zarurat nahi hai bas yahi pe lagana hai ye dekho na ye gyons canal na aapki to yahi tunnels hai so usme koi tunnels bahut zyada pin point karne ki zarurat nahi hai ye aapki nerve aa rahi hai piche se middle epicondyle se karte hain usme koi itna masla nahi hai so ulnar nerve supply Allen of special test basis and then practice the scheme. Two additions that has been done in the scheme uh, of my book is one is adsent test and the other thing you must add the suppleness. I think I have written in the palpation section, but I missed myself uh, in today's uh, reading. So suppleness I have added in that. Suppleness is important. So if there is no any other question, let's end it because we are also left with only four minutes. ठीक है सो टुमारो इन शी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वाइवा सो ठीक है आई होप दिस वीडियो विल सर्व द पर्पस अल्लाह हाफि